Hi Legends, in this episode we'll look at can that massive CME gap that we left on both sides of the wave be filled? Does Bitcoin still have the chance to find upwards momentum here and perhaps create that lower high for continuation to the downside or get recovery back inside the range where we could potentially go and claim the all-time high again? Let's go and analyze the price of Bitcoin together and remember, down in the description of this video under exchanges we've got Bluffin. No KYC required by signing up with this link and you also qualify for a 15% cash back depending on how much money you deposit in your features account. Go sign up today, don't miss out, this deal is almost over. So go take advantage right now. Let's go and analyze the price of Bitcoin together. Looking at the price here on the one day time frame, one thing that I just wanted to highlight and point out to everyone is that this range that we had during the previous bull cycle of 2021, you can see that we have a beautiful range high, which I call the value area high of the entire bull market during 2021. We have the point of control and then we also have the value area low. Okay, and you can see with this momentum here to the downside, if I take the scribble out the way, we have tapped the value area high to perfection where we got the bounce here to the upside. So you really want to see momentum continue to the upside and not get acceptance back inside the value area high. The problem with getting acceptance back inside a range like this is that if price had to move down once again and it starts closing high time frame candles below the value area high, you increase the probabilities that you can come to the bottom of the range at $31,000. But we still have the point of control here in the middle that can definitely offer some support. Okay, but it's just a game of probabilities. Usually, when you get acceptance, when price gets acceptance back, you can see how it struggled over here. Struggle, struggle, struggle. But as soon as it gets acceptance back inside the range, you go and you tap the top of the range. And here you can see where we tap the top of the range, we get a we got a beautiful rejection. We found support at the point of control and then we broke through. Also inside of this range where we find ourselves now in, you can see, okay, you deviate from the top, you deviate from the top, but then you get acceptance back inside the range. And a game of probability state, once you get acceptance back inside the range, you're going to tap the bottom again. You get a deviation from the bottom, you go to the top, you get a deviation on top, you get you go back to the bottom okay so you guys get the deal over here now currently what happened is we did get acceptance back inside the range we tapped the top to perfection and now what's looking bearish at the moment is that we have now closing candles outside of the range and now we are flirting with the 2021 bull market range over here so you really want to see this area hold as support and us not getting acceptance back inside this range where we could potentially come and bounce here at the point of control definitely a bouncing area the question is is this going to be a bounce that takes us out of the area and this bounce is here at thirty-eight thousand dollars, right so you want this area to hold over here and from a worst case perspective is if you get acceptance back inside the range like what happened over here you're most probably or most likely going to come down to the bottom of the range at thirty-one thousand dollars. okay so this is the extreme bearish case scenario over here so let me take the scribble here out the way so what we would like to see from the price of Bitcoin. If I now zoom into this structure over here, this is where we left a CME gap. If I go here onto the CME, you can see that here on the CME chart, we've left a gap on this side and we've left a gap on this side. So we have not filled any part of the gap over here, except with a little bit of a week over here that filled a portion of this gap over here. But you can see the overlap, two gaps formed for the first time in history on both sides that has not been filled. So do we currently have a chance with the price action that we see here at the moment to come and fill this gap over here? Going back onto the normal Bitcoin chart over here, definitely a possibility. So what I can see here on the price action, look how beautifully okay this value area high of the previous bull run got respected and we currently getting a bounce so what you would like to see is for this structure potentially if it does turn around to make a higher low and go and back test the scene of the crime okay because we have to acknowledge that this price action does look bearish here at the moment okay we are currently trading outside of the range of this entire consolidation area since march so what you would like to see is typically when you do lose a level like we've 
you've lost the value area low of this range over here, you would typically you would break down, you would maybe consolidate and you would come and retest the scene of the crime. Once we retest the scene of the crime over here, we will also be filling the CME gap. The question is, are we going to get acceptance back inside the range and continue to the top? Or are we going to try and break through, fail, close the CME gap and then find downwards momentum where the highs are still making lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high and the structure just keeps on rolling down to the downside. If we do come down here, what you would like to see ideally is for a high low to form for another attempt here to the upside where we could get acceptance back above okay if we fail and we close the cme gap making that lower high and we could come down and grab the liquidity once again if we do come back down here what you would like to see is us maybe grab liquidity a swing failure pattern and immediately get acceptance back outside the range we do not want to see high time frame candles close below this value area high of 2021 like i've explained is high time frame candles close back inside this range does unfortunately increase the probabilities of coming to fill the range here once again let's go zoom into the smaller time frame and go analyze the price of bitcoin looking at bitcoin here on the one hour time frame okay you can see here's the value area high of the range from march that i've just highlighted and here's the beautiful bounce that we got on top of the value area high of 2021 what you would like to see over here is, and it looks like we might have a chance to come and fill the CME gap. The question is, is it going to be a lower high for continuation down, or are we going to get acceptance back inside the value area range over here? And it's quite a strong level of resistance over here, because when you take a FIP here from the high to the low over here, you can see from this structure that is forming over here, either we go down, we swing failure pattern, okay and we have another attempt to build a bullish structure here to the upside or we find continuation here to the upside where this current movement here to the downside we create a higher low for continuation here to the upside but then we have some critical fit levels that we need to compete with between the 50 percent and the 618 this is where that cme gap is at the moment that needs to be filled okay and at the top of the gap we also have the 0.618 together here with a value area low of the entire range where we could find upwards momentum here and reject from the 618 level filling the gap okay and find continuation here to the downside failing to reclaim the value area low of the previous range that we've just lost so the probability is definitely there that we can come and fill the cme gap but then still find continuation to the downside what you would like to see for us not to reject in this area we need to break through here with high volume okay you need to flip the value area low over here into support for continuation but for now it looks like there's definitely a possibility and a high probable chance that we could come whether we create a lower high or whether we get acceptance back inside the range for continuation it looks like we still have a chance to come and fill that cme gap and the question is what's going to happen in the region over here we have to acknowledge that the 618 okay the value area low of the entire range has significant resistance that we need to break through so i wouldn't be surprised if we come and tap this level and then what i would like to see is it would be absolutely fantastic for bullish momentum to continue to make a higher low and then continue continue the momentum here to the upside right but there's still that possibility where you go and sweep the lows okay you grab the liquidity the longs over here you stop all of them out and what you would like to see here is acceptance immediate acceptance back outside the range so that we don't increase the probabilities of coming to full the 2021 bull market range that i've highlighted on the higher time frames Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, smash up the like button, hit subscribe for future notifications and until the next one, cheers for now.